Hi, we're going to solve some um, linear equations for x that involve other variables. So our first example is listed, and we're going to solve that problem for x. Actually, I'm going to erase this to get it out of the way. I thought I had more space. OK, so in number one, the first thing that you would do as we're solving for x is we see that we can distribute. So we're first going to distribute. So we have ax minus 3a, notice we usually put the number before the variable, plus 8 equals bx minus b. Some of us need to remember to keep distributing to that second number. Okay, now if we're solving for x, we want to make sure we get all of the x's to one side. So our first step, we used the distributive property. Now we're going to move all the x's, and I'm going to choose to move them all to the left for this problem. So I'm going to subtract bx from both sides. You only subtract it from each side once. So now I have ax minus bx minus 3a plus 8 equals a negative b, because that was negative. I'm going to move the 3a and the 8 to the other side. So by doing that, I'm going to add 3a to both sides. So now I have ax minus bx plus 8 equals, and you can put it in any order. You could put the 3a minus b, or you could write it as negative b plus 3a. And now I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. So now I will have ax minus bx equals 3a minus b minus 8. So your first step again is get all of the variable, in this case x, to the same side, just by subtracting and adding usually. Okay, now that you have all the x's on one side, we're going to once again use the distributive property. Remember, the distributive property is if I have 2, and this is x plus 1, it gives me 2x plus 2. The distributive property, we typically think it has to go from this side to this side. But the property works if you go from the opposite side, and that's what we're doing. Since both of these terms have an x, you take out an x because they have that in common. It's called factoring. And so then you have a minus b. Again, if you would distribute like we're used to seeing, it goes back. We're just using the distributive property in the opposite direction. So it's 3a minus b minus 8 on the right. Now, since this is x times a minus b, we're just going to divide both sides by a minus b. So we have x equals 3a minus b over, or minus 8, all over a minus b. We cannot cancel these out because you can only cancel, notice this was a multiplication. We only cancel when it's sort of being multiplied and then we divide. Here, it's being subtracted, so we can't um, divide those out. So this would be my final answer for my first equation with with variables in it. Okay, so that's example one. I'm going to move on and I'm going to do an example two. Um, an example two, you already saw me write that I had it written up here before, but I'm going to rewrite it. So here is my second example. We once again are still solving for x. So what we're first going to do is we're going to distribute just like the um, first problem. So we would have 3TXA, because I'm going to multiply it here, minus 2BA, again you can put it 2AB, equals CDX minus 2C. Okay, so first distribute. Now, just like we did in the first problem, get all of your x's to one side. Again, I'm going to choose to put the x's on the left. So I'm going to subtract cdx from both sides. Oops, cdx. So now I have 3txa. 
again, minus C D X minus 2 B A equals negative 2 C. I'm going to add this to B A to both sides because it doesn't have any X's in it. I'm going to move it to the left. So now I have 3 T X A minus C D X and it equals 2 B A minus 2 C. So now I have all the x on, on one side. Now what I can do is the same thing that I did in the last problem. Since both of these terms have an x, I can use the distributive property and take the x out. So this would be 3ta minus cd. Again, if you distributed, it would look back the way we started. And because there are no x's on this side, I'm going to leave this side alone. Now, because I'm multiplying x times this quantity, I'm going to divide both sides by this quantity. Because then these two cancel out. Again, nothing over here can cancel out because it's not exactly the same. It only cancels out if it's exactly the same with the same number, same letter, same letter, same sign, same letter, same letter. Since these have the same letter but not everything else is the same, you can't cancel out the A's. Likewise, you couldn't cancel out the C's. It has to be exactly the same on top and bottom. So X equals now 2, and you can change it if you wanted, BA or AB minus 2C over 3. If you want to put it in alphabetical order, AT minus CD. Again, when you're multiplying, the order doesn't matter. But this is my final answer.